We are talking about love this week and we are in 1 Corinthians chapter 13 and now we look at verse number 3. And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned, but have not love, it profits me nothing. These are very serious words. In verse 1, Paul says, if I speak in tongues of men or of angels, but have not love, I am nothing. In verse 2, he says, if we can, I have faith and I can move all mountains and I don't have love, I am nothing. Now he says, if I give everything that I have, and uh, I even sacrifice myself to be burnt, but I have no love, it profits me nothing. That, these are very serious words. Paul is saying spiritual gifts, spiritual power, even benevolence, being kind, being generous, if it is done without genuine love, has no real benefit. So love then must be a very important prerequisite for all our actions, for all our pursuits in life. And so we learn from this passage that we must develop and operate in genuine love. True love is not just about giving things to people or even sacrificing yourself because sometimes we can give things to people out of selfishness and we can sacrifice ourselves for showmanship. So Paul is saying, yes, you can do all these good things, and he doesn't say don't do them. He says do them, but check the motive. What is the driving force behind what we are doing? Why are you even kind to people? Why do you help people? You know, because we all know people who would do good to you and broadcast it to everybody, and everybody gets to know that they're the one who helped you to get a job, and they're the one who paid your rent for you, and they're the one that bought something for you, and they brag about it, and they actually want you to serve them for the rest of their lives or your life. And, and you know, so you wonder, was it really love that motivated it, or it was something else? And Paul says, you can do all these good things, but God is not just looking at the things we do, neither is he just looking at the gifts we have and the spiritual power we have. He's looking at the driving force. And the driving force must be love. That's what he says. And so he says that if we do all the good deeds, and we must do good deeds, we must, we must do good things for people. But he says if we do all of those things, and the reason behind it was not love, then it is not profitable. It is not beneficial. And we can all testify of people who have done good things in our society, and we ourselves probably have done good things, and people applaud us. But if they really check the heart of those who did the good things, they may find an ulterior motive that is probably more sinister, more dangerous, more destructive than the supposed act of love. So we go deeper in our giving, in our actions, in our attitude, and we have to check our motives. And subsequently, Paul tells us how to check for love. How, how do I determine whether this is love or not love? When someone says, I give you all my heart, I give you all I have, I love you more than the whole world, uh, how do we check whether that is just word or love? And Paul tells us that it's not even just a feeling, it's not goosebumps, uh, it's something deeper than that. And we're going to find that from tomorrow onwards. So I trust that we will continue to do good, but we will do it with a heart of love. We'll continue to be spiritual but we do it with a heart of love. Let's pray. Say with me, Heavenly Father, your love enables me to love others. Let my life be a reflection of your love. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Well, I'll catch you again tomorrow. I'm Pastor Mensah Otabel. Shalom, peace, and life to you.